good morning guys so today 9 30 i got up I'm gonna make some pumpkin oatmeal and start um, meal prepping for the week but i realized i don't have like a dry ingredient thing for my pumpkin oatmeal i have four banana ones but i don't have any pumpkin so i just labeled them all because i didn't label them before either and i was like smelling them making sure they're not pumpkin pie spice for the other ones i had and the other ones were all banana so we're gonna make some pumpkin ones and we're gonna dump one in there as well because we're gonna make pumpkin today got my pumpkin here i got some dark brown sugar in here and then i also have some more because i'm gonna need more and tons and tons of oats <laughs> Hey guys, so my pumpkin oatmeal is cooking in there. I also have my pumpkin oatmeal dry ingredients prepared. So I have four of these. I actually don't know if the other ones are banana anymore because when I smelled them, they all smelled like brown sugar. And since I didn't smell any pumpkin pie spice, I assumed it was banana. But I actually don't know if the other ones are banana. I know that these ones are pumpkin. I just don't know if the other ones are banana. I also made my own pumpkin pie spice I ran out so I have a whole bunch now um, this is a pretty simple recipe you just need the four different kinds of spices so to make that let me show you guys what you're going to need um, I will I don't know if I remember I'll try to link this down below it's from simply stacy.net uh, stacy c i E, if you guys could see that but basically you're going to need cinnamon ginger nutmeg cloves and allspice so five ingredients um, and here's what you need one third cup cinnamon one tablespoon nutmeg one tablespoon ginger one and a half teaspoon cloves and one and a half teaspoon allspice so I just kind of um, put everything together and I actually like this so much better than the store-bought and the store-bought is also just so expensive so I make my own but you guys could see I just buy like these giant things of like nutmeg and cinnamon and stuff so I always have them on hand so I could always make more. Alright so I'm making some pumpkin pie spice now. So far ingredients are 1 and 3 fourth cups half and half, 1 fourth cup pumpkin, 3 tablespoons maple syrup and 1 teaspoon pumpkin pie spice. Then after I heat it up and there's slight bubbles, um, uh, you want to start a couple more times while it's heating. But then when you remove it from the heat, you want to put in one teaspoon vanilla extract and a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. So here we are, we're making pumpkin, um, pumpkin creamer. All right guys, this looks so good oh my gosh I'm gonna have to make myself a cup of coffee right now and we're gonna try this I'm gonna put this in a container and that way I'll have it like throughout the week but I hope it tastes so good I'm so excited it smells really good hey okay, guys about to make myself a cup of coffee and I'm gonna have some pumpkin pie spot pie pumpkin pie spice pumpkin spice creamer whatever it's called I don't even know but I have um a K cup, just like a regular plain K cup, um, a Starbucks one because I like these, and it's gonna be so good. I'm so excited for this. Here's the two mugs that I got. This one says a warm and cozy and it's like a nice plaid with like that gold um, on there and there's like this texture on the plaid like you could like feel the lines it's like so cool and so fun to like run your hands over this um, so I really like this one and they're both from TJ Maxx so they were $3.99 each um, this one's dishwasher safe not microwave safe obviously because of the gold and then I got this one that says hello pumpkin and this is what it looks like also $3.99 but this one is dishwasher and microwave safe. And this one's obviously smaller. I think we're going to go with this cup today. Only because I'm making pumpkin. Um, only because I made pumpkin creamer. And I'm going to try it out. And I think this would be a cute uh, photo with my 
digital planner and stuff too. So and that should be super cute. Okay, here we go. Gonna make myself a cup of coffee. I don't know which size I'm supposed to do, but I'm gonna go with the big size. I don't really know though. Don't know which size I should do. All right, so I got my pumpkin spice uh, creamer. I just put it in this container and we're going to add it to my coffee. Oh my goodness. Oh, looks amazing. Guys, this looks so yummy. I like my coffee light. And this um, little thing makes it so easy to pour out my creamer. That literally was like easy peasy. Um, so that was really awesome that I decided to put it in there. But I do have to unscrew it because I uh, this is still warm. And I need it to cool down before I put it in the fridge. So I'm just going to leave it open for now. Okay, so let's see how good my pumpkin creamer is. Oh, MG. Guys, this isn't that good. And I know what's like going into it, which makes it even that much better. It's not like full of chemicals. MG. Oh my God, it's so good, guys. So you need to make your own if you guys like pumpkin spice. Because I was trying to find a pumpkin spice creamer in the store and they didn't have it the last time I went. So I got a coconut creamer. And that one was actually really good too, and I've never had that one. But hmm, pump, pumpkin, there's just something about pump, pump, ah, I can't even talk. There's just something about pumpkin that like you just need to have. So my lentil soup is not very lentily at all. It just looks like soup. I added in some lentils that I pureed and I just added them in there, but I think I'm gonna add in the rest of the lentils that I had frozen, puree those and just throw them in there. Maybe I'll just leave them how they are. They're already mushy anyway. Um, but there, that's my soup. Everything else is prepared. So my penne, actually no it's not. My cheese and grapes are not prepared. But my penne vodka is prepared, my edamame, my oatmeal, my pumpkin creamer. That's all good to go. And I think it's time for me to go crafting now. I'm excited because it's two o'clock. I finished um, a work thing for teaching as well. So I think it's time to tackle my to-do list and go craft. I also have to pack up some, oh, I have to do Etsy orders. So let me print that real quick as well. But I have to pack up a return for Nike and a return for Amazon and get that done as well. So my new stand came in. I was originally gonna put attach it to my desk um, from the back, but that's not gonna work because there's like no space for me to even move this desk out. So I can't really do that. Um, but this actually works out fine because I attached it to this riser that I have that my uh, computer stands on. And this actually works really good just like that. And I could always store this away and put that all the way up or down or whatever and store it away when I don't need it. Um, I do have to move this over just a little bit though in order for me to get to this um, drawer. But that's not a big deal because this just moves right over and that's completely fine so that I could open my drawers. There we go. Okay, so that's good like that. Um, but I like it. So here you guys could see that this is a desk view right here. I could change this. I could zoom in obviously on my screen and zoom out. Um, but I think this might work guys. And then while I'm crafting, um, nothing will get like in the way, you know. So I'll be able to like grab whatever I need right here real quick and still be able to like craft with this thing here and do some Instagram video. So I hope that this works. And before somebody comments, I am fully aware that this is upside down and this should be underneath. But this screw thing is so long that mine won't fit underneath. So it's upside down. So that means it doesn't really hold this thing in place because I could just easily take this out. But if it's bothering me, I could take it out. That's fine. It's not going to move much while I'm recording, I don't think. Um, once I put my phone in and it just like stay still I think it'll be okay just like that um but yeah in the future when I can I'll put it you know elsewhere but 
I think this will actually work for the purposes that I need it for. Guys, I'm terrible. I forgot to show you guys the card that I had made, but I did film like a little Instagram video with my new little clip thing. So with the help of that, I filmed the Instagram video. But I'll show you guys the card I made because I decided I would list it in my shop. Like I love how it turned out. This was the card. So the person wanted the two photos. Um, it was a 10th wedding anniversary and they wanted the names included. So here's the one photo on the outside and I did like a fold kind of thing. My first time doing that and I love how it turned out. And then inside of the card has like the second photo in that same exact spot as the first photo. So um, I decided I would list them in my shop because I just love how it turned out and yeah wait till you guys see the video of me putting it together it was so fun to film it with this thing i mean there was like a shadow and stuff you guys could see there was like a shadow but um that's the best i could do okay guys so i want to do some crafty stuff that i wanted to do today i made like some more yorkie cards like sorry for your loss kind of cards when i made that first one originally it sold in like a couple of days and i've been wanting to make another one since so I made four more of those today. I know that not everybody has a Yorkie, but um, Yorkies are just like near and dear or close to my heart. And that just happens to be the one that I made. Um, so I made those and I stocked up. I had four of those. I realized I have to make birthday cards. So I don't have that many birthday cards in my shop. Um, that's cause uh, about a week or so ago, somebody bought 10 cards, a lot of um, some unicorns and some trifold like cupcake birthday cards. Um, so those sold today, another unicorn went, so I'm, I have no unicorns left anymore. So I need to make some more unicorns um, and that's fine. I'm gonna actually make a list while I'm doing this, while I'm talking about it. Um, and then just in general like some birthday cards I used to have like a trifold birthday card kind of like the Halloween ones that I like to make but it was a birthday one so I want to make another one of those um, so let's write unicorn cards unicorn b-day cards um, cupcake birthday cards and a trifold b-day card um, so I need to make some of those and I realize I don't have like a lot of birthday cards at all. But I purchased a SVG file from April Allender Designs. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But I purchased an SVG because I really like her pumpkin and you could also, um, you're able to make it a shaker. So I also edited the file just now and I also turned part of it into a card base so it like opens and closes. But my problem here is that in order to make a shaker, you need foam to like prop it up. And yes, I guess I could do layers and layers and layers of like cardstock, but I don't want to do layers and layers of cardstock. <laughs> I want to do foam, but foam does not fit through my rollers of the cutting machine. And I don't know if the new ones um, do fit, but my foam does not. So I might just have to do layers and layers and layers of like regular cardstock in order to get the shaker part. Um, and that's just, I feel like that's gonna be really heavy. Like foam is not as heavy, whereas paper is as heavy. So it was just gonna be like a really heavy card then. I might try to do my thinner foam and maybe that will work better and then just layer up on that a couple of times. But we'll see. I really wanna be able to make this uh, pumpkin shaker cause it just looks like so fun. And I just, I love shakers and pumpkins like, yes. <laughs> Finally got it to work and it turned out so cute. 
nice little shaker and then this one I made into a card so I attached it to a card base 